Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler, and this time we go south of the border and look at a Star Wars release that's new to my collection, it just kind of came out of the blue, from Mexico. Hmm, not a place we've looked at releases from before. Now 1995 is best known as the year of the THX remastered VHS release in the United States. We know now, I've said it plenty of times, it was actually based on the 1993 Definitive Collection Laserdisc THX remastering. But it was the first time to get it on VHS and heavily promoted with the original, One Last Time, as its tagline. And the packaging in the U.S. was what we refer to as the faces. You had Vader, a Stormtrooper, and Yoda giving you your faces. And if it was the widescreen edition, we've got a couple of those on the shelves over there. It just put a little widescreen label on it up at the top, but it was still the faces packaging. In the U.K. in 95, you had the opportunity to get that executor set, as it's sometimes called, the definitive collection on VHS. And while the tapes inside all looked kind of like this, with just a different colored lightsaber on each, because it was part of that definitive collection box, it came with a set of art prints for A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi with cool new artwork, which was also reflected on the bottom of the cover of the complete scripts, also included in that package. Well, when we looked at that definitive collection oh so long ago, one of the things that I mentioned was that those art prints, the art for those art prints that are on the cover of the scripts book, were actually used in the UK and elsewhere as the cover art for VHS releases of the THX Remastered Trilogy. It's just that that wasn't the case in the US. The artwork wasn't meant for our region. Well, turns out that there was a place very close to home that actually did use that artwork and that brings us to a new item for my Star Wars Home Video Library. This is actually something that was submitted by a viewer and a friend who uh, contacted me via Facebook, Jason Luttrell. Jason happened, when he was in college, to have a friend who apparently knew that he was into Star Wars and decided to hand off to him a set of three Star Wars VHS tapes. He didn't really have any use for them. They were still closed up when he had them. And he decided, after checking out the show and whatnot, he said, hey, you know, Maybe Nathan could use these. And he decided to hand them off to me. He mailed them to me, and they arrived this week. And these are a little bit different because they mark the first of a new type of item to enter my Star Wars Home Video Library. Oh, there's plenty of VHS tapes, but not ones from Mexico. What we want to look at here is the 1995 VHS release of the trilogy as individual films from Mexico. We start with A New Hope. Again, it's that same kind of artwork here. I love the art. I wish these had gotten some U.S. releases. You notice it does have the THH remastering notice down here at the bottom, but of course this is in Spanish. It's all in Spanish. We have, and I'm sure I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but please forgive me, La Guerra de las Galaxias. Underneath. Star Wars, a new hope. Little holographic thing here, as the 90s were wont to have there from Video Visa. Not Visa the card, but Video Visa the... Um, uh, Distributor. Hey, you get your artwork there on the side. You have your 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment title again. C3PO and R2D2, Lucasfilm THX VHS. And a notice here on uh, the age, right? This is an A basically meant for everybody. Other side, same thing. Top, just the logo there. Though it is interesting that every time the logo is shown, it does have that very simple English title underneath it as well. The back is actually similar to the U.S. release. It's just sort of uh, move that main picture around and then scoot it around the boxes with the other pictures that are on the back. That makes it similar rather than identical here. You have your description there in Spanish. It notes the duration of 121 minutes. It is in color. Subtitles in Spanish. All right, so you're going to watch this. You're going to hear the soundtrack in English, I believe, and you'll have subtitles in Spanish. This is way before we had DVDs or Blu-rays where you can just choose your spoken language or choose your subtitles. So about what you see is what you get. And your cast and crew information there, 20th Century Fox logos and such. The only real different logo that we don't see on the U.S. releases is that uh, video visa thing. And actually, if you flip this around, I said they look the same. It's actually the same up until a point. You have the uh, RTC logo down there near the bottom where the rating is on the other side. 
slip it out of its case. Very straightforward, very clean looking. You have some printed information on the side. You have your actual label there that's actually printed onto the tape. Not so much a label in this case, but labeling. 20th Century Fox logo, title. That's about it. That, of course, brings us to The Empire Strikes Back. With the art from the art print again. La Guerra de las Galaxies, or Galaxias. El Imperio Contraataca. I guess that's the Imperial counterattack, like the Empire Strikes Back. We have the little hologram thing, says the Empire Strikes Back underneath. Doesn't say Star Wars, just says the Empire Strikes Back underneath. THX stuff on the side, or on the bottom, excuse me. Side, similar to A New Hope, it says it's got Chewbacca on it. Other side, similar with Chewbacca. Top, just the logo. The back, again, similar back to the U.S., Got your images there, your description, all the various logos. No CBS Fox, not 20th Century Fox both times in this case because of a little distribution thing when it comes to the films. Pop it open. Similar, this one's got an actual sticker on it over here. That previous owner sticker there. I said they were sealed. My assumption is looking at them as they as they arrived and I opened them up, it looked like they had been resealed. Put it that way, they were resealed. I don't think he ever, though... I had a chance to watch them himself. It's always interesting to see other little things carried over, like the little don't pirate this movie symbol, or a we've made it so that if you try to dub it, it's going to come out looking weird symbol, however you want to interpret that. And then finally, we have Return of the Jedi, or La Guerra de las Galaxias, El Regreso del Jedi. Return of the Jedi, hologram sticker, that awesome artwork. GHX, similar side with Yoda this time, on both sides. Back, again, similar to the U.S. back. CBS Fox with 20th Century Fox down there. Don't pirate this or we gonna mess up your tape when you dub it kind of thing. Uh, again, subtitles in Spanish for all of these. The actual tape. Okay, just printing information and your info there. Okay, what I find interesting about this is the packaging choices here, right? I mean, yes, it's in Spanish, or it has the Spanish subtitles at least on it. Gotcha, the packaging is in Spanish. Gotcha, that's to be expected, right? Latin American Spanish for Mexico. But it's interesting in that it's got this artwork on it. So in that sense, it's different packaging than the U.S., but the backs are so very similar to the U.S. version, if I can hold it correctly here, right? It's like in each case, they take one image, and they shift it from where it is on the U.S. version to where it is on the Mexican version. And then the U.S. version has three pictures that are kind of overlapping, almost like they're cards most of the time. And the Mexican release takes those same pictures and just organizes them a little bit more like a grid style. And in the case of Empire and A New Hope, one of the images gets cropped a little bit differently in the way that it's set up there. It's a little bit uh, taller on that release versus the U.S. version of the same picture. Otherwise, very, very similar here uh, for markets that effectively converge. Because we're talking about, you know, the 1990s, right? We're talking about the era of Clinton and NAFTA and all of that, right? So you would think that this is something you would see actually popping over more into the U.S., especially for people for whom Spanish is their first language, given the fact that you wouldn't necessarily have a DVD version uh, to be able to use subtitles or anything for these films until 2004. So, 95, this was a way for someone who speaks Spanish to follow this if English isn't a language that they are fully uh, in grasp of. And of course, outside the United States, if you're in Mexico or another Latin American country that speaks Spanish as opposed to Portuguese like Brazil, then you've got your own version of the film right here with that really awesome cover art that never got a release as that cover art in the United States. I think it's some of the best cover art we ever see on a Star Wars VHS release for the original trilogy. But we never get it over here. It's only outside of the U.S. Another interesting release, and the first Spanish release, or Mexican release in this case, added to the Star Wars Home Video Library, all thanks to Jason. So thank you very much, Jason. Thank you all for watching. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you again for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.